Hi there everyone, welcome back. Today for your trifold landscape, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, scissors, and some sort of coloring utensil. To start, you wanna get your piece of paper and do your best to fold it into thirds. I usually like to just look at it and guesstimate about where one third is. Pull your finger down the center and do a nice crease on either side. Then you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. I made my thirds a little short on one side, so I just try to find the middle for that last fold. Once you're done, it should look something like this. It's kind of like a letter Z. Next, you want to think about what you want to put in your landscape. I'm looking right at my window when I'm drawing this, so the first thing I see in front of me is the grass and some bushes. So I put down my horizon line, which is that straight line I just drew. It shows where the ground meets the sky, and then I'm putting some bushes in to fill up the space. Next, I'm going to open up my piece of paper, and on that next part is where I'm going to draw the middle part. So for me, the part of my landscape that I see is the middle ground is a tree right in front of me. I advise you try not to draw a gumball tree. Do your best to draw some branches and make your tree look a little bit more realistic. I do this by drawing many V's branching off of each other. The more you do this, the more it looks like tree branches sprouting from that trunk. I did the same thing for the roots as well. As you know, trees don't just stick in the ground like a lollipop, they actually are rooted into the ground. So I did the same technique for the bottom. Lastly, I drew in a bushy looking set of leaves on the top. I'm gonna go in later with color pencil and add some dimension with the color, but I just wanted to briefly get the shape in. After that, you're going to close your trifold and then open it one more time to that last page. And this is going to be your background. The thing that's furthest back for me is a house I see across the street from me. So I'm going to do my best to draw what I see. I see a brick house with a porch on it. So I'm trying my best to draw those details. This is a good activity to practice your observational skill drawings. Do your best. It's a little difficult to draw in total detail, but try and get those main elements. The next step is you want to get your black marker out and go over those pencil lines. I always do this step to make sure that I have nice clean lines. I even went and grabbed a skinnier marker because with working with a different middle ground, foreground, background, things that are closer to you are going to be bigger, the things that are farther away are going to be smaller, so I used a skinny marker to outline my background as well as my middle ground, and then I used my big marker to outline my foreground. This really helps to play with the depth. Once you finish outlining and erasing all of your pencil lines, you are then ready to start cutting up the extra paper for your trifold. I start with the first side to your foreground. I cut on that crease all the way down to my horizon line. Be really careful cutting in this crease, it can be kind of tricky, but if you move slowly, it is possible. And then I'm going to cut around that black sharpie line that I drew. Now you can see what I have in front of it. 
you can see that those bushes cover up part of my tree. Next, I need to cut the background out. So one thing I noticed is I forgot to put a horizon line in for my middle ground. So what I'm actually gonna do is just cut straight across my scissors. You don't wanna cut everything out because then that middle ground isn't gonna have anything to rest on when you have it sitting up. So I just went straight across from where I went with my foreground and then I cut up along the side of my tree and the leaves. If you drew your tree like mine, I actually had a part that's not really possible to get with scissors. So what I did is I stuck one end of my scissors very gently in the center of the space and then I cut around it. This is difficult, but if you move carefully and slowly it is possible, just make sure that you are not rushing through this part. Lastly, I'm going to just cut out that sky part around my house. I want to leave the bottom there because, like I said before, you want your trifold to actually be able to rest on a surface, so I want to leave all that space below. When you finish cutting everything out, you are then ready to start coloring. And that's that. That's your landscape trifold. It's pretty cool because this is an easy way to remember how foreground, middle ground, and background all work together. I, next time, will be making my tree a little bit shorter so I can actually see the house I worked so hard to draw, but this is still a really great way to remember and learn how the different grounds work together. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Enjoy!